Good day everyone, Complainy Gamer here. By now, many of you have had the time to try out the publicly available Simu 1.13.0, patiently awaiting the arrival of a stable version of 1.14.0. Well, it looks like you're going to have to wait a little longer as it isn't ready yet. In the meantime, we've had a surprise release drop in the form of Simu 1.13.1, available as always to $5 plus Patreon supporters first and then the public seven days later. If you're out of the loop, this means that for some time now, there has been two simultaneous builds available at the same time, 1.13 and 1.14. The latest stable build in 1.13.1 will be free to the public on the 4th of September. Regarding 1.14.0, it currently sits at work in progress build 5, with build 6 expected soon, which is then typically followed by community testing and further improvements. There is still no ETA on when it will be stable and ready for mass consumption. The team has announced that it definitely won't be ready this month, which I think is obvious as it's already the end of August at this point. Now the question of 1.13.1, what does it bring to the table? It boasts improved audio emulation and the addition of X Audio to API support, followed by standard bug fixes and miscellaneous improvements. A fairly short list. You'll find the new API option selectable in options, general settings, and audio. In general, X Audio 2 is designed for games. The detailed changelog goes into a bit more detail with the most noteworthy line detailing improved accuracy of locked cache API, fixes a crash in Bayonetta 2. Early indications are that Bayonetta 2 does indeed crash less, if at all, with some complaints about audio emulation in several titles. Lead CMU developer XAP himself stated that in 1.13.1, this release fixes three different crashes in Bayonetta. It doesn't fix the stuck audio bug, however, but I am looking into that right now. If you are a Patreon supporter, the changes in 1.13.1 will be found in 1.14.0 Work in Progress Build 6 releasing soon. For the public, 1.13 version releases will continue for now. As always, when changing versions, the Simu team recommend you to make a backup of your previous Simu installation first. After that, you can simply copy and replace the files over from your existing CMU folder. This way, you can keep saves, settings and game updates intact. Generally, unless there are major changes, you can get away with just extracting the CMU EXE and renaming your old one to avoid conflicts. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. Complaining Game social media links are also there. If you dislike the content, leave a dislike. If you liked it, leave a like. And to stay up to date with all things emulation, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.